we felt like we need to bring up the fact that we have worked on deploying a brand new open source tool to the community. So I want to back up a little bit. Um, when you are um, going through the phase of adopting FedOps and then you finally have your practice launched, whether that's a dedicated team or a few individuals that are doing it, you're going to want to make sure that you're really maximizing the benefit of that staff that's working on FinOps and then also seeing that you're driving the cultural changes. And so you're going to want to continually mature your practice and evaluate the progress that you're making on that. And so an assessment is a really great tool at a high level to see like what your current state is and identify other target areas that you want to develop. So back in 2022, um, we had a working group that spun up and developed an assessment playbook. And you can find that on FinOps.org. Um, and that really sat and, and talked about the fact that we need to know what we are ambitious to achieve and what we're currently at. And we defined something called lenses, a way to look at the different capabilities. So you're looking at it through knowledge, through process, through automation, through adoption. And each of those lenses, we put in like five performative um, steps. So maybe you're at a, a level zero and that's what that looks like, um, but you're trying to get to you know, a level four. Um, so that was the playbook. It was put out there. It's been about a year. Um, and then we took it a little bit step further. So that enterprise um, slide that we just showed a few minutes ago, uh, Fidelity being one of those enterprise partners, helped us pilot doing a guided assessment. And so we actually walked them through it. And from that, we developed an open source tool. And so the idea behind this tool is that you could use it for a variety of business cases. Going back to the principle that teams need to collaborate, an assessment is a really great tool to really um, have those different conversations and look for ways that you could be innovating together. So you may want to use an assessment for like an internal team review. So maybe I'm the manager and I've got five people to report to me. Let's do this assessment every quarter and make sure we're all on the same page um, and we can actually start building out our team roadmap. You may also want to do this assessment because maybe you have a federated model where you have a centralized team and you've got many business units that are um, consuming your FinOps services, and you maybe have one business unit that's further ahead than another business unit. It'd be great to be able to baseline across those business units and figure out which capabilities you need to spend more time developing or working on, on um, knowledge training there. The other area this assessment could come into play is going back to the story I said earlier, maybe you're really good at doing FinOps um, for one cloud provider, but you actually want to do it for another cloud provider. And so you could be assessing how your organization has adopted the FinOps practice and your maturity across two cloud providers as well. Those are just a couple examples. I'm sure you all could think of other ways that you would use this assessment. So this is our official announcement. We did a little light test of this um, back in Amsterdam. Um, but if you go to the next slide, JR, you all can now go out to assessment.finops.org only on your desktop and you'll be able to see this tool. You can go ahead and log in. The reason you log in is because we want you to be able to save your different assessments that you do. We have a lot of features in the pipeline where you could maybe do some comparison of those assessments. Um, you will select the capabilities that you want to assess. You can do all of them. You can select a few of them. You will set your target scores. You'll measure the value of this is also putting in the comments so you know exactly why you decided to pick that score that time that month. And then you also have the a feature to be able to share this or download this. And again, we'll have some more features coming um, probably before X and then uh, after X as well. So we're really looking for feedback on this right now. So if you want to go take it and just assess where you think your organization is now, um, there's also a spot inside the tool where you can tell us bug fixes or other enhancements that you'd like to see. And I think most importantly, um, at the end of this assessment, it points you to different resources that are on the finance.org website. Um, so we're hoping that will be a valuable tool for you all. If you all uh, get into it and have any questions or want to do a one-on-one -on, -one on it, um, just feel free to ping me as well. JR here from the FinOps Foundation. Thank you for watching. Please go to FinOps.org if you want to get plugged into this amazing community. And of course, hit subscribe right here on YouTube to get all the future content. Hope to see you soon.